Hi students, uh, welcome back to my lectures on uh, plant operator training uh, using simulator and uh, please don't jump into the video directly please follow my earlier lectures to understand what is happening because uh, this is the I mean I mean kind of uh, last video for the basic control systems then we are going to jump into the actual I mean processes where how you call to control the distillation column how you're going to control uh, the CSTRs these are the things we are as long as you don't know about the basic control systems you won't able to understand uh, the operation of the higher processes okay and uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about the very simple control it's called ratio control which is normally uh, most of the reactors have this kind of control uh, for example let us if it could be a PFR or a CSTR uh, a reactant a if I if amount of let us say there are two reactants A and B. So if amount of A is let us say is not in our control. Uh, if I say uh, amount of A has been increased to the reactor uh, this much amount stoichiometrically amount of B also should be increased to an extent of what A. Okay that is what the ratio control does the job of this matching the proportions of amount of A to the amount of B. Okay, today we are going to discuss ratio controller and you can imagine that it's a kind of uh, you know, uh, feed forward kind of controlling. Let me uh, explain you to the uh, once you go to the simulator mode. Okay, this is what the ratio controller looks like and uh, let us example there are two components a and b going in, into a tank to mix in a certain proportion and imagine uh, let us say uh, sometimes uh, there are two streams May, there might be one stream which is not in my control comes to the vessel if a comes to this vessel and uh, let us say if a and b are getting reacted the b's also should come according to what a has increased into the reactor Imagine see uh, this is the uh, streamline of A which is coming into the reactor and streamline of B is connected to a ratio controller. What it does? Let us example if A is uh, 40 kilogram mole per hour then what and uh, the ratio B is uh, maybe by, by 2 of A that means 20 kilogram per mole of hour should go in accordingly. So presently you can see the operation A and B are going into the reactor A is 40 accordingly it will measure the flow rate of A and it will cross check with the stoichiometry and it will accordingly the amount of P is going into the reactor. Currently 40 more kilogram I mean kg mole per hour of A and accordingly half of the A that is B uh, is going into this reactor and both are trying to exit the reactor okay and you can see there are indicators this is the indicators this is temperature of a temperature of b the hand indicating control here finally total more total is 60 which is 40 plus 20 equal to 60 that temp exit temperature is of the both the components is 43.83 this is just a quite not kind of reaction that is happening it's simple kind of stoichiometric mixing that are going inside this particular vessel the name is reactor but there's no, no no as such reaction that is happening imagine that uh, say the exit of this tank is a is 66.67 percentage and b is 33.33 percentage according to this amounts uh, 20 by 60 uh, is called 33 and 40 by 60 i mean is called 66 so it's a kind of stoichiometric amount what happens let us say uh, there is some disturbance that went into this particular tank okay Imagine that now it is 80% open. What I am going to do is if I reduce, I mean, because the, there is some problem with the uh, this particular streamline. So suddenly, I mean, uh, the flow rate of A has been reduced. Okay. See, accordingly, the ratio control will take action. It will also reduce the amount of B to that of A according to this ratio factor. Okay. Let me change, let me start this uh, training program and uh, this let me uh, HIC controls uh, let me close this well a bit let us see what happens okay I'm going to close this well what you people have to observe simple whether is it maintaining the same percentage or not exit whether if I reduce the a is it stoichiometrically the amount of B also getting reduced through the ratio controller you need to check okay let me reduce to 
okay and see each and every parameter the flow rate of a has been now reduced to 30 now accordingly it should be 15 but b should be 15 because the ratio control I mean, now the ratio has been disturbed here what is the set point is 2 what is the process value is 1.95 so now it is got disturbed immediately it, the, it will bring uh, b also to the stoichiometric amount which is 15 okay let me check uh, see what, the dynamics it's a very simple it's a kind of feed forward see why it is feed forward before it is the reactor getting disturbed and early it, it is taking action before the a is getting entered into the reactor so immediately it will it will sense the change in the flow of a accordingly the ratio controller will take action immediately it will close the valve to maintain the ratio before it enters the reactor that is why it is called feed forward ratio controller is one such of a controller it is called a feed forward controller okay you can do many things here right now i have uh, i did the uh, servo problem now uh, i mean i did the i mean uh, disturbance problem now i do the servo problem see everything got the steady state now i want to change the set point because my strike i wanted to change my stoichiometric amount so what i do i simply set point is two now it make it one okay i want to send equal proportions of uh, um, b in a now see our ratio is uh, i mean one now uh, a is 30 b is also should reach to 30 because i have changed my set points here okay in this i can apply many factors uh, let us say if i go uh, right okay let me check i can turn it to the tuning i can do tuning also right now it is i controller only integral controller uh, and you can do many uh, variations in the simulator that means you can able to bring in propo i mean pid i uh, d also derivative control also and see how fast it is going it is almost getting reacted instantaneously but uh, if you bring in some derivative action here by putting some number so automatically you'll uh, see what how p controller uh, and how pi controller how paid control is getting reacted to the different situations okay this is how and now see the ratio it is getting close to the set point what is the set point this is one and the process value is also 1.02 still it is going to take one more action and they see the exit composition now 50 50 49.52 of b and 50.44 of a because the equal amount of kg mole per hour of a and b are going inside so ultimately the composition will be 50 percent a and 50 percent b inside this tank so this is what the simple ratio controller i have explained hope now uh, now you should be okay with the all the different controls because in the next phase we are going to uh, do a bit advanced uh, kind of you no know, processes let's say operation of a distillation column operation of a CSTS as long as you don't know this basic you uh, know uh, like uh, example ratio control feed forward feed backward what is split range control what is cascade control if you let me come to the video then I will put more amount of uh, yeah and we have uploaded almost close to i mean uh, 12 kind of videos and uh, before we jump into the next level of controls of course i will take some time to upload those videos i want you people to be acquainted with the i mean uh, present and uh, different modules we have covered like uh, feed forward control feed backward control what is on off control what is split range control what is cascade control what is uh, direct control and uh, and uh, today we have discussed something about the ratio control if you are okay with the all the controllers no and then you easy for you to understand the next phase okay those who could not able to watch the present videos i strongly and it's a mandatory for you people uh, to go to the all the other video previous videos to get an idea of, of overall objective so i hope you are i mean the, what is the objective of this particular process do you people to get acquainted what a chemical engineer does as an operator in an industry if you get somehow uh, uh, know about uh, um, this basic processes and the screen what is there on the screen how what are the controllers how i can table to take the action how i have to change the automatic mode to manual mode you will be acquainted with the systems and very soon we are going to launch one um, i mean hands-on training sessions in pdpu uh, maybe in the months of june and july in 23 and uh, those who could able to join the program uh, please i mean uh, very soon i'm going to i uh, know 
upload some you know, registration links to the Google Forms. Maybe whenever you get a chance, I mean, you can come down to the PDP, you get a hands-on training, okay, along with our PDPA students. Okay, this is Dr. Surendra and uh, signing off and all the best.